I'd like you to imagine that you're in this canoe, paddling down a river, it's a nice summer's day, and suddenly you spot this exotic fish swimming right next to you. So naturally, you lean over to take a closer look. And as you do, the boat tips slightly. But you don't feel too concerned. It's fairly stable as it stands. But what you don't realize is that your friend in the back seat has also decided to lean over. And now this brings the boat to a very precarious position, beyond which an irreversible transition takes place. You've probably worked out the transition that I'm talking about. It certainly gets you closer to that fish, though it could probably break a friendship. I'll let you make up the rest of that story for yourselves. Ah, the point is, this canoe possesses something known as a tipping point, a point where the qualitative behavior of a system suddenly changes, resulting in what's known as a critical transition. Now, critical transitions can occur in systems far more complex than that of this canoe. Let me give you some examples. Financial crashes, epileptic seizures, disease outbreak, Species extinction. Despite having widely different mechanisms, each of these events share one thing in common. They're a consequence of crossing a tipping point. So wouldn't it be fantastic if we could anticipate these tipping points before they arrive? Well, my research has been developing mathematical tools that address this significant challenge. To give you a flavor for this, one commonly used indicator for an upcoming transition is an increase in variance as demonstrated by these plots. Now, variance, we can think of as a system's variability about some mean value. So think back to that canoe. As it approaches its tipping point, it becomes more wobbly, more sensitive to small disturbances. And this manifests itself as an increase in variance in our time series, which we can detect. However, these signals that we commonly use today have only been proven mathematically to be reliable in relatively simple systems. So my research is extending this work to more complex systems, particularly those involving social dynamics coupled to ecological dynamics. In this new age of online social networking, there is a huge amount of data that can be exploited for detecting critical transitions in these systems. And finding the right early warning signals is key to making sure that we, as a society, avoid tipping our canoe, Mother Nature, into an undesirable state. Thank you very much. <laughs>